Elasticity is one of those topics that scare a lot of students, but once you break it down, it's actually one of the easiest areas to get marks on. Tip one, always write out the formula. If it's PED, then percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price. YED, percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in income, and so on. This should always be your starting point. Tip two, don't be fooled by applying the wrong elasticity. At Excel often provide data such as income elasticity of demand, but then one of the options will say something like, the data shows that these goods are substitutes or complements. Be careful. Remember that you can only tell if they're substitutes or complements through XED, nothing else. Similarly, I can only tell if goods are normal, inferior, or luxury using YED. Tip three, link PED to business strategy. If a product is inelastic, a business can raise prices and increase revenue because the increase in the price would lead to a less than proportionate fall in demand. If demand on the other hand is elastic, it's probably a better idea for that firm to cut its prices to increase their revenue. That link between numbers and real life business Business behavior can help you hit the top level application marks. Remember, elasticity is not about being a math genius. It's about applying basic maths and clearly showing the examiner that you understand the theory and how it applies to the question.